good morning and god bless you class how are you you know today's topic is very very closely related to the movement of moving objects we often talk about it when we go on a long drive we enjoy the fast speed of our car and if it is a sports car then we enjoy the very fast speed things are moving around us with different speeds so this is a normal word now today we will know that how it can be calculated so today's topic is speed it is defined as the distance traveled per unit time how much distance is covered per unit of time very simple definition now its formula is its speed can be calculated by dividing distance traveled and time taken means we rationalize the distance which are covered which is covered and the time consumed and its unit is as the si unit of distance is meter or length is meter and time is second so its unit goes meter per second now we see the animals move with different speeds around us and we are often told that cheetah is the fastest moving animal yes if all of the animals and human being also there if if they are in a race running so the cheetah will win the race and who is in the last row yes the very heavy elephant the ant moves 0.03 meter per second but in the same second cheetah runs 26.7 Seven. So, ant being the slowest running or moving animal, and cheetah becomes the fastest moving animal. There is another unit which is measuring average speed. The average speed is equal to the distance travelled divided by the total time taken to travel the distance. Here again, the formula goes: total distance. divided by total time taken and when we measure average speed let me introduce to you the bigger units of speed as well kilometers per hour and meter per second we are seeing so many things in our normal life when we move on a motorway we see the speed limits Here, the police authorities and the roadway police authorities have given us the maximum limit of our vehicles to drive our car on the road, and we are always very much concerned with the speed of the internet. And very high speed internet is always welcomed. There is a speedometer also in our motorbikes and in our cars. which shows us at what what speed we are moving basically we can know or we can get in touch with the speed of our car every time with the help of this speedometer and this is the picture i have taken from the internet this is the fastest bullet train in the world you can google it also now today's homework is again very interesting Do you know about years? Sorry, there is a typographical mistake. It is light. Just add. Do you know about light years? And about the fastest bullet train which I showed you, and at what speed Pakistan Railway is traveling? Now just go through the topic. with the help of this video lesson read the topic very well and thoroughly from your textbook see the pictures shown there see the table shown there and then you write the answers of these questions i will be waiting anxiously and eagerly to see your answers thank you god bless you class